Good morning and welcome back. It is time for Furcast. What you are seeing, this is sweet Ellie girl. She is looking for her forever home at Companion Animal Alliance of Baton Rouge. If you are interested in adopting this sweet girl, be sure to reach out to them or you could reach out to me and I'll put you in contact with them. And we'll have another one during our Fox show. But again, I'll have this on my Facebook page as well. And that noise you're hearing, yes. guys. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of gas. No. <laughs> Joining us right now is uh, Greg Ligon, and he's actually one of the owners at Barnhill Preserve. And for people that might be new to the capital city, tell us what exactly is you do. Yeah, so Barnhill Preserve is an animal park. We provide educational services. We have field trips, captive breeding programs. We free fly macaws. But right now, we're gearing up to send a team to Australia to help with the wildfire situation and the animals affected by it. And what's been the most devastating? I mean, we all hear a little bit about this, but not everyone's really been keeping up with what's happening in Australia. We're talking about an incident that's unprecedented. Explain to the people at home what's happening. Yes, so <laughs> basically the whole country's on fire. I mean, the, most of Australia is populated on coastal regions and most of the coast, lots of the inland is on fire. And these animals that live here, these rare animals that can only be found on the continent of Australia, uh, have have been killed in what they think over a billion animals right now. And I did, and that was occurring to a professor at the University of Sydney who actually published that, saying this is an Im it's impacting the entire area of Australia, but especially there in uh, New South Wales. Is that the area that you're headed to? Or? Yes, we're he well, we're heading to uh, Adelaide as of right now, but there are still areas across the country that have had fires, but that's where there's some active fires right now. Mm -hmm. And it's really hard to comprehend, but again, there are experts that are saying because of the devastation hitting Australia, there's a potential that some of the smaller species may be completely wiped out if they don't get it under control. Yes, animals like banks here. This is an animal that lives in the eucalyptus forest. This is a parrot, so they're not very prolific animals. They only maybe have one or two chicks per year or every few years. So animals like banks here, the, this is one of the species that could very well, uh, you know, face extinction in the future because of these fires. And when you go there, what exactly are you going to be doing? Like what support services are going to need to be provided? So right now, we're fundraising. We're going to be working directly with uh, wildlife carers. Those are the people that are on the ground working and taking in these animals that have been burned. Animals like uh, Flint the kangaroo joey, his cousins, <coughs> say uh, a female were to get burned in the fire, she could still have a joey alive in her pouch. So those animals uh, are, are what are really important for us to check the pouches and see if there are live joeys in there. And this bottle you're holding, <coughs> this is a very important tool to wildlife carers. This is a latex uh, teat and and a bottle, this is about $5, and one of these can save the life of a joey. If we don't have enough of these, those are joey lives that are lost because there's no other way to feed them in captivity except with this latex uh, device right here. And that's what you need help with. We need help yeah. getting these supplies on board with you guys. How can people get involved if they want to participate? Check out Barnhill Preserve's Facebook page. Uh, it's Barnhill Preserve. We've got a GoFundMe, um, and we're going to be 100% of those funds will be going to buy supplies. If you'd like to send supplies, message us on Facebook we'll give you a shipping address I'm going Tuesday we have more of our team going the following week and they will be directly bringing those supplies to Australia with them that's fabulous and really it comes down to the basic necessities that they just need to provide water stations because the yes. animals don't even have access to water right yes, now unfortunately the, the water's drying up they're still in a drought so it doesn't seem like uh, the end is anywhere close to, to being in sight well we certainly hope to have you back Gabe as well Thank as you. some of the other volunteers and good luck out there guys if you'd like to get donated or like to donate and get involved you can head over to our website right now at brproud.com. I've posted that information as well as a direct link to your GoFundMe page. Be safe. Thanks for being here with us. And folks, stick around. We're coming up on uh, 648 right now. And look at this little adorable guy. How can you not want to help? Sweet. Very sweet.